Care farming has been around in the UK for a number of years, providing much-needed health, social and educational services to a range of vulnerable people. However, farms had been operating in isolation, without a unified voice or wider recognition. The need for a more formal and supportive network led to the creation of Care Farming UK. As Gordon, Care Farming UK's chairman, explains, Care Farming is a partnership between farmers, carers and vulnerable people and offers participants the opportunity to take part in a programme of structured farm-related activities. The wonderful thing about care farming is that there is no such thing as a typical care farm. Um, it depends on the, the environment in which the care farm is based, depends on the agricultural enterprise on which it is based, depends on the client group and so on. And in this particular one, where we are just now, at the moment we're in a sensory garden. The great thing is the sensory garden itself will help certain people. And on this particular farm, they can do woodland activity, there's forest school, there's also horticulture, there is also direct farming. So there's a wide range of activity. There are around 180 care farms currently operating across the UK, and that number is growing. Care Farming UK is helping new care farms set up and supports existing care farmers in many ways. Care Farming UK offers guidance and network opportunities both to established and prospective care farmers. Um, it helps them with lobbying MPs, commissioners, acts as an advocate, uh, helps with local authorities. Also there's a website where care farms showcase uh, their care farms in detail. Uh, also there's PR opportunities if they become members then we offer them uh, different ways to have case studies and to have you know, PR and promotional material. Advice and support is also available from Triodos, a financial organisation with experience of working with a range of social caring organisations. Care farming is a relatively new phrase but in Triodos terms, we've been supporting projects for many years that have been involved in the therapeutic care of, of people on farms. And we found that to be very rewarding and uh, good business. Our experience has been is that um, by getting to know the business initially and looking at the, what their objectives are, that we get a closer understanding of them. And along with our other experience in the sector, we can add value to their plan and support them during the period of growth or development. Research has shown that participating in nature-based or green care interventions, such as care farming, really does help improve physical and mental health and well-being. Rachel tells us more. The evidence base shows us um, uh, that contact with nature um, in any way, shape or form has a, a multiple effect on, on health and well-being. Um, things like helping to protect you from future stresses, it helps you to recover from any stresses you're suffering from at the moment, uh, it helps people concentrate more and research that we've done at Essex shows improvement to mood and self-esteem for people taking part in um, sort of nature-based activities. There's evidence specifically on care farming uh, that's starting to show uh, all sorts of things um, added as well. So it's not just the contact of na with nature, but there's the farmed environment that, that all of these activities take place in that adds another dimension to health and well-being. And also in terms of reintegrating people into society. And it's the ability for people to take part in something that really is meaningful. Um, and they're helping to nurture very often rather than being nurtured themselves and for a lot of people that's a completely new new experience. But don't just take our word for it. Let's hear what the commissioners, the people who come onto the care farms and those close to them think of care farming. There are plenty of opportunities uh, here for him, for David. Uh, he likes to know what he's going to do so there are all of the animals which need feeding and looking after the same each week. They've also been uh, growing uh, from seed uh, plants and uh, vegetables and he's been bringing them home once they've grown and uh, we've been eating those so that's been <laughs> very good. He's just a totally different person. He's got more confidence, his self-esteem's higher. Um, in even, even the rest of our family have noticed a difference in him um, because he'll just chat to people now and he won't just sit in the corner very quiet like he used to. He's definitely more communicative. Um, and just happier. It makes it makes you feel um, uh, proud in a sense to um, to to try these uh, new experiences out and 
it's a positive type uh, activity. A healthcare professional has also noticed the benefits that care farming can bring. Firstly, there's the physical health benefits of that. And then secondly, there's that kind of feeling that you've done a hard day's work and that really good feeling you get from being part of a team. And I know that definitely the people I work with who've been here reflect on that as being one of their favourite things. They've been part of a team of people who've built something, who've made something, who've achieved something. And that's great because you can't put a price on how much, something, how much benefit somebody gets from coming to a place like this. Care farming is a growing movement which is gaining momentum and support throughout the UK. And with Care Farming UK providing different support mechanisms for our care farmers who provide personalised health, educational and social care programmes for many people in need, it's an exciting time to be involved.